Welcome to another travelog. This is going to be a little different. Instead of starting on a snowmobile, I'm starting at the airport. This is the Hibbing Airport in Minnesota. And uh, I left here bright and early in the morning and then ended up uh, in Minneapolis. Then on to Salt Lake City and, uh, and then Jackson Hole for the last flight. Um, this is a little footage of me taking off from Minneapolis. You can see the conditions weren't exactly the greatest, but uh, there, were, there wasn't really any problem with any of my flights. A couple of the people on the trip uh, had problems with their connecting flights, and I didn't. Um, and uh, uh, it was, although the weather kind of looked like it might interfere, it didn't. Here we are deplaning in Jackson Hole, and it was kind of cool to walk, kind of get off the plane outside, and kind of look out at the mountains, and then turn around and see this really cool sculpture of antlers and uh, that was really cool as you can see the airport not exactly the biggest airport so I started in a small airport ended up in a small airport great experience I couldn't you know uh, I, that was a great thing to do all right here's all of our clothing uh, lined up and uh, we were assigned everything that we wore and um, even our snowmobiles so here we are bright and early in the morning the uh, sun just came up and we're picking up our the snowmobile that we have have been assigned for the day. And of course, we're all taking pictures of our assigned snowmobile. There's mine right there. I thought that was pretty. I thought the the blue. I really like the blue uh, ZR a lot, and it was a good riding snowmobile too. I liked riding it. Here we are, kind of all filing out for the uh, the photo shoot, and here we are at the kind of the, one of the first locations, photo shoot locations, getting ready to stage. And you know, we'd, they'd each have us take turns uh, uh, riding past the cameras and stuff. Here's another location that we did. Um, but we'd each take turns and then we'd go back around and do it again. And, and uh, there was a lot of waiting around, uh, but it was fun. It was a lot of fun to, to be a part of that. Here's me on, on uh, that ZR again. Yeah, isn't that pretty? I like it. I like the, the light green and everything. Here's we're waiting for the uh, mountain riders. They're um, kind of exercising the riots. So on the first day of shooting, I was it was all ZRs um, yeah, for me anyway. On the second day of shooting, um, I did get to ride some rides. Here's the first the first trail ride we went on, and uh, this was kind of the beginning of it. Um, here we are kind of looking over the mountains. The guy in the gray jacket is uh, Dave McClure. And then ahead of him is Riley Kincaid. Those guys were a lot of fun. It was really a lot of fun to ride with them. This is, uh, we stopped at Brooks Lodge. And um, just the mountains and the view is just incredible. And then wherever Dave McClure went, it seemed like he was recognized by somebody and they wanted his autograph or they wanted a picture taken with him. And he, this is uh, on this picture, uh, it's Riley Kincaid on the Thundercat. And just a mental note, don't give don't give Riley the, the Thundercat because you'll never see him again. <laughs> that guy was he was fast. That guy was good. I, I kind of enjoyed riding with him just for, because of how good he was. Um, and here's the Thundercat. I did get to ride it uh, on, on the, our trail ride, and that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that quite a bit. Here's uh, on the second day, the photo shoot second day, we actually started with a trail ride. Uh, Todd Tupper took us for this ride, and I got to ride the uh, Riot 9000. So basically a long track Thundercat. And uh, I that was a lot of fun too. That, uh, that Riot... Uh, that engine and the, um, and the uh, electronic power steering was pretty cool. That was uh, that was pretty cool. Not a snowmobile for beginners, though. Really easy to ride, but you can get into trouble so fast with that snowmobile. So fast. I would not recommend that for beginners or even intermediate riders. I take it easy if you're riding a nine, uh, either of the 9000s happen so fast especially with that power steering now you really don't even know you don't feel the turning you just it's intuitive um, you have to watch my review on the Riot 9000 and I went to a little more detail than that. Todd 
Todd uh, Tupper was a really good uh, pace setter for this ride, and I enjoyed riding with him very much. Uh, he was not too fast, uh, but fast enough that he made things interesting. He always he, he was really good about stopping to check on us to make sure everybody was doing okay. It, you know, nobody was cold. It was a cold day. And um, you can see how flat the trails are. The trails, this is the first thing in the morning, and the trails had just been groomed. And um, just incredible snow conditions out there. Uh, it's just not what I'm used to in Minnesota, let's put it that way. Um, I enjoyed that quite a bit. The scenery was really cool, too. Uh, just incredible as we were going along. Uh, this day, uh, the second day of the trail ride, I did get to ride. So the first day I got to ride basically the ZRs. The second day it was um, primarily riots. So the Riot 9000, Riot 8000 on the Procross chassis, and then the Catalyst Riot. And I got to ride them all and and compare them. And um, my Riot, uh, oh, I got stuck. I admit it. Um, yeah, the Riot 9000, uh, not as good off trail as you'd hope it would be. Looking over this uh, this valley here, at first you're not really sure what you're looking at. Look at all those elk. Those are all elk. Um, it's amazing how many elk there were. Uh, it's really cool. Um, but uh, as I was saying, Todd it was not, he, he was always checking on us, making sure everybody was okay, not too cold or too tight, whatever, or they wanted to switch snowmobiles or whatever. He gave us a lot of opportunities to kind of stand and chat. Here we are, thumbs up for my second trail ride. That was excellent. And this is the second day of, of the photo shoot. And this is kind of how it went the first day, too. So I thought I included this just because it shows you kind of how the the cameras are positioned there, and then the snowmobiles ride by. And then uh, the director will say, OK, uh, you need to do something different. You need to be closer, or you need to be farther apart, or you need to go faster, or you need to go slower. And then, so then we would do it again. And um, so there was a lot of waiting around while uh, this happened. But that was fine. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it uh, both days, just being part of the photo shoot. Here's another angle. This is another one of the uh, the rides here. After the after the second day of the photo shoot, then uh, of course it was time for us to head home. And um, Friday the 13th didn't have any problem. Look at the view of the Tetons. This is the Teton the Tetons there in the distance. Beautiful. I want to thank you for coming along today for watching the video, and I hope I see you on the trail.